Hi and welcome back to the channel. I believe that I am on a learning journey and I want to share as much knowledge with you guys at home as possible. And I hope you're on that same journey as me. I am fascinated by crypto. I'm also a teacher and I tell my students that they need to try new things and throw themselves into the deep end. If I'm telling them that message, I need to do the same in my life. Hence why I'm here on YouTube. So let's dive into today's video. 99.9% .9 of you are not gonna need to worry about the UK tax laws. And if you're in the US, the same applies to you. The reason for that is because crypto is so hard to sell. They are psychological and emotional barriers that people really need to overcome in order to make profit and walk away from their investment. It is one of the biggest mistakes investors make holding on to their crypto for too long. They end up breaking even or losing money. And this is why I don't need to cover the UK tax laws today. What I am gonna cover though, is some of the psychological and emotional barriers that you need to overcome. By the end of the video, I hope you recognize that you fall into one of these categories because being honest with ourselves is going to allow your investment strategy to be much better and hopefully you get to walk away with huge profits. So let's dive into them straight away. You have heard this phrase, FOMO, fear of missing out. You cannot let yourself become subject to FOMO. If you sell your crypto assets, do not worry that they're gonna 300X. You and I both know, or should know, how volatile the crypto market is. Prices can spike up and down. A lot of the time, if you do sell your crypto assets and they increase in price, there is gonna be an opportunity for you in the future to rebuy when the price starts to become a downward trend. So don't have FOMO. And that equally goes for when there's this new shiny token that everybody on Twitter is going crazy for, don't FOMO into buying it and be someone else's exit liquidity. FOMO is really dangerous. Set yourself an exit plan. The next one we're going to talk about is greed. The wanting, the need for higher gains all of the time. Wanting more cake, more sweets, more chocolate, more carbs. It is addictive. The more the price goes up, the more we want. This can make you irrational. This can cloud your judgment. If you went into crypto as an investor and said, right, I want to make a £6,000 profit. Your 6000 profit comes and it actually goes up to 7500 Psychologically, you're now thinking, what about 8000 What about 8500 Your decision-making has now been impaired. You need to set yourself real targets. Just do not become greedy and do not experience FOMO. Let's go discover some other psychological and emotional barriers that you're going to need to overcome. Hopefully, this is going to make you a better investor. The next one is we're going to look at uncertainty and speculation. The crypto market is highly speculative. Big narratives can make huge price changes. They can be influenced so easy. I believe as crypto matures, these narratives will become less explosive and the market won't be as volatile. That is great for some people, but for other traders who love that volatility, it's not so great. Regulatory change can also make a huge impact on crypto. We can see in China that China banned miners and it had a huge impact on the price of crypto. Some people who would have brought at the top would have sold their crypto and because of the worry that crypto was going to be banned. Fast forward to today and China are again becoming pro-crypto and Hong Kong and other places in China are looking to set up spot Bitcoin ETFs. It's been a completely 360, but these regulatory problems that crypto has have a huge impact on the price. So what we need to do is understand when is it the time to hold? When is it the time to get rid of our crypto? And one of the things you can do is start to look at macroeconomics, liquidity cycles, business cycles. There is a great YouTuber who runs a company called Real Vision. And Raoul Paul um, really started me on my journey learning about how money moves around the world, how business cycles work, and how they impact on risk 
on assets. I don't want to confuse you too much, but if there's one top tip from this video, Google Rail Poll, look at Real Vision, start learning macroeconomics, because then you can position yourself in a much better place when you're making your investments. For example, you don't really want to be buying Bitcoin when it's at the top and at the peak of the business cycle. That goes to the same with other assets. The next one that I've mentioned a couple of times is having a really poor exit strategy. Without a well-defined exit strategy, you are going to miss the right moment for you to take profits and a clear plan can be based on predetermined prices or predetermined times in the market where trends are happening. And if you've got understanding of macroeconomics, you can make a clear exit plan. For example, there is mu mu a lot of research on how long a bull, bull run lasts within the crypto cycle. So you can time yourself around those days. You might want to pull out early and be conservative. You might want to go to the very last day that people say the bull run lasts for. Again, these aren't definitive, precise pieces of information but they can start to give you a lesson on when is the time to sell, what trend is happening. And do not um, be afraid to see 30% pull downs. In 2023, we saw Bitcoin go from 16,000 to 24,000 to 20,000 to 25,000 to 20,000 to 30,000 to 26,000. There can be big gains and there can be some big dips. My point is, do not be scared of the volatility. If you are holding for a long period of time and that trend is looking positive, don't listen to the noise. Watch what is happening over a long period of time. And this will make a huge difference to how you can relax and be secure and safe with your investment. Speaking of uncertainty and speculations, we had a huge victory in America. The SEC and Gary Gensler finally approved Bitcoin spot ETF. It is a massive milestone for Bitcoin. So my trend probability um, for Bitcoin and crypto assets has become even more positive. So with that in mind, I do not I'm not too bothered about the 20 to 30 percent dips that Bitcoin and other crypto assets are going to experience because I know the trend overall is positive. Let's look at a couple of the other emotional and psychological barriers you're going to need to overcome to make sure you can take some profits. So you've been invested in crypto for a while. You've taken some of my advice and you've held on to your assets and they've increased in value. Unfortunately, this means one thing. You can become overconfident in your own abilities. I'm sure we can all recall a moment in our lives where we thought we were better than what we actually are. And this can happen with your investing portfolio. Because you've had a, a 10x on Solana and it went from £6 to £100, do not make that mistake where it can lure you into the idea that you are better than you actually are. You start to believe that you know how to pick the best assets and how to hold them. It might be just that you got lucky. So don't let this overconfidence cloud your judgment. Take profits take a lesson from it and move on. It doesn't mean you've got to sell all of the assets, but take some money out and reward yourself. Don't become overconfident because we all know what happens to these people who become overconfident. They get burnt, so don't do it. So let's look at one of the final things and the final psychological barriers you need to overcome so you can start paying tax on your crypto profits. Your crypto assets aren't your adorable pet at home. They're not your dog called Rover. They're not your cat called Whiskers. You don't cuddle up to them at night. Do not get attached to your investment. Make sure you're ready to kick them out the door when needed. I'm only talking from experience because I've got two dogs that I absolutely adore. But would I kick them out the door? No. Would I kick my Bitcoin out the door when the time is right? Yes. And it is it sounds silly, but it's such a huge emotional barrier that we need to overcome to make sure we can take profits. So do not get attached to your investments. Remember, they are there to serve a purpose. They are there to add value to your life. At the moment that they're not adding the value, you need to sell and rotate your investments. The last one I'm going to talk about is the social connection to your investments. Now, 
Twitter X is a great platform to learn and discover new crypto assets. The problem with that though is it can become a bit of an echo chamber where people are saying Bitcoin is going to go to 600,000, Bitcoin is going to go to 1 million, that's the bare case scenario. Or there's this no, new Dogecoin derivative uh, that's going to 100x and people will be comparing this new meme coin to Dogecoin's all-time high market cap and saying, well, if it reaches that, it's a 120,000 X. You only need to put $60 in and you could have 60 million. Um, you know, these social um, challenges you will face online are some of the most powerful. You've got to remember that so many of these crypto influencers are paid to shill you meme coins. They are getting free tokens or money in their wallet to tell you about these meme coins. I will give you some examples on another video in the future. And I'll be honest, I've made that mistake. I have followed some crypto influence influencers and thought, you know what, I'm gonna see if this works. I'll put a hundred pounds in just to see what happens. A couple of times I got lucky and the other eight times out of 10, you get burnt. So yes, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram are great places to find information, but they're also the devil because there'll be so many YouTubers, so many Twitter uh, accounts that are promoting or trying to tell you a narrative that XRP is going to go to $50 by 2025 and that starts to play psychological games in your your head and makes you hold on to XRP for longer than you need. All the while that they're selling their XRP whilst telling you it's going to $50. So do not fall into this trap. Um, I want you to be able to take some profits. I don't really want you to have to pay uh, tax on it, but at least you're making enough profit so you can start paying tax on your crypto. It's better than losing money. I can guarantee that. I wasn't going to, I was going to do it on a separate video, but whilst I'm here, it just makes sense. I'm going to go through very quickly the UK tax laws and what it means for you. So let's get into it immediately. Before I start talking to you about the information on the screen, there's a couple of things you just need to know very quickly. If your profits are £6,000 or less, no need to pay capital gains tax on your crypto when you sell it. The second thing is any costs incurred buying and selling the crypto can be deducted from your profits, just like how a business was, would operate. Right, let's get into the information that is on the screen. If you fall into the basic rate of a taxpayer, then your capital gains tax on your crypto is going to be 10%. If you go into the higher rate, it is going to be 20%. Now, there are some great web websites that are coming up that help you calculate this for you. This is Scout. Uh, taxscouts.com. So I'm just going to make myself a little bit smaller here, move myself down here. So profits from crypto, £20,000. Other income, mainly from our job, £30,000. This is just going to work out what our capital gains tax would be. Remember I said to you at the start, £6,000 is tax-free. So what we would do, we would take £20,000 then we would minus 6,000, which would leave us with 14,000 pound. Now, because we are a basic rate taxpayer, that means we only need to pay 10% on that 14,000 pound. Hence why capital gains tax to pay 1,400. You can have a play with this and change the figures. Let's do 55,000 and you will see that it is now doubled because it's gone from 10% to 20%. There are a few more ins and outs about UK crypto tax laws, but for the majority of us, make sure you're recording exactly how much you purchase for, fees included, how much you sell, and the fees for selling. I'd also make a note of entry price, units you've purchased, just so it can be very clear and very easy to understand when you send off that information. I hope watching the video, that you have maybe identified some psychological and emotional barriers that you might face when purchasing crypto. I hope that you now recognizing them, you can avoid them and make sure you take some profits. Check out one of my previous videos up here and always stay tuned because I will post two to three videos a week on crypto investments, crypto news and things to look out for. I want to learn with you guys and share knowledge so you can become a better investor. Do all the nice stuff for me. Like, subscribe, watch out for my next video. It has been a pleasure. Leave me a comment if you so need to. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.